Hi friends, this is Pratyanshu. Today I discuss group frequency distribution. Group frequency distribution. If I discuss or if I deal, we have to deal with, we have to deal with large data. We have to deal with large data. For example, consider the following consider the following marks out of 50 following marks out of 50 obtained in mathematics obtained in mathematics of 60 students of class 9th so the data age 21 10 30 22 so these are the marks of 60 students of class 9th out of the 50 in mathematics now if we make a frequency distribution table for each observation then the table would be too long so for the convenience we make a group of observation we make a group of observation 0 to 10 10 to 20 and so on and obtain a frequency distribution of the number of observation falling in each interval or each group now i take a table first i group second tally marks second tally marks third is frequency third is frequency the first group age 0 to 10 second group 10 to 20 third group 20 to 30 fourth group 30 to 40 fifth group 40 to 50 sixth group 50 to 60 50 to 60 now if i take 0 to 10 then uh, 1 1 only 2 2 marks so find 2 now take 10 to 20 10 to 20 have 1 2 3 4 5 1 2 3 4 5 only on 10 entries so the frequency is 10 and the ever frequency is 2 20 to 30 I count 4 and 5 4 and 5 4 and 5 4 and 5 and 1 total 21 entries or observation 30 to 40 5 5 again 5 and 4 total 19 entries now 40 to 50 only 7 entries the frequency of 7 50 to 60 only 1 student so the frequency is if I total this frequency then it is 60 then it is 60 data present in this manner it's said to be grouped and the distribution obtained is called grouped frequency distribution grouped frequency 
distribution now it helps to draw meaningful interface like most of the students have scored between 20 and 40 how many students occur between 30 to 40 or got 30 to 40 marks now if I take this thing 0 to 10 or 10 to 20 it is called class interval it is called class interval and 0 is lower class limit Ten is upper class limit. And the difference between upper class limit and lower class limit is called width size. Or we can say width or size. Width or size. So this is the terminology of drift frequency distribution table. Now if I now if I draw a graph of this group frequency distribution table or this group data so it looks like so the graph is looks like this type. Now if I draw a graph of graph of this data this looks like in this marks 0, 10, 20, 30, 40, 50 and 60 and on vertical axis number of students. number of students and number of students look like 4, 8, 12, 16, 20 and 24. Now create graph 0 to 10 only 2 students. This is the 2 students. 10 to 20, 10 students. 10 to 20, 10 students. Now 20 to 30, 21 students. Twenty to 30, 21 students. 30 to 40, 19 students, 30 to 40, 19 students, 40 to 50, 7 students, so this is 40 to 50, 7 students and 50 to 60, only 1 students, only 1 students. So the data represent in graph and this type of graph is called histogram or we can say when we draw a graph for group frequency distribution table then it is called histogram and the height of vertical bar height of vertical bar height of vertical bar is equal to or represent frequency represent frequency so this is the complete information about histogram about histogram so i hope you understand what is group frequency distribution table and when we draw histogram so please download Scholar Learning app and if you already download this then enjoy learning. Thanks to watching this video.